When I signed up for my Felt account a little over a year ago, I was initially under the impression that this was very much like Google My Maps. They're both web mapping tools that allow you to create custom maps. But boy oh boy was I wrong. Slowly I started to discover the true power of Felt, all of the features that are being added, how quickly it's growing, and now I realize that there's really no comparison. It's kind of like apples and oranges at this point. Felt has all of the features that Google My Maps has with a ton of extra power. Now I had been creating maps in Google My Maps for over 10 years, so I have quite a library. Well, one of the newest features in Felt is the ability to very quickly and easily upload your maps from Google My Maps directly into Felt. I'm gonna show you how to do this. All right, let's start with something simple. This is a map in my Google My Maps library of the Atlanta Beltline, which is an urban redevelopment project of this 22 mile strip of an historic um, railway corridor where they're gonna be attaching parks and really doing this huge redevelopment program. So I wanna create a map of this visual. So to bring this into Felt, I just go over here in Google My Maps and click on the share button and then turn on anyone with this link can view. And then I'm gonna copy this URL right here. And now I can come over to Felt. I've created a new map. There's no elements or layers here. And directly within the interface, I'm gonna hold Control or Command and hit V to paste it in. And initially what this does, it will just add a little image here with a link. So now I have this, I can move it around. If I click on here, this will take me naturally directly to this map. That's not what I want, however. I wanna bring in this particular data. So to do that, if I just go back and I paste again, you'll notice that when I paste it, there's a little message up here that says URL has data that can be downloaded. And I'm gonna click on add to map. If you don't click on that, within a few seconds, it kind of disappears. And what this is gonna do, it's essentially gonna perform an upload from URL. Over here, you can see it's processing. All right, so it finished processing. Over here in the left, you can see this new layer called Google.com. And to really understand what's going on, just hop over to list view. Now this first, item that we brought in, this first link that I pasted in, came in as an element. And you can see it right over here as I hover over it. If I double click on it, it's gonna bring it full. Now this is just an annotation. If you wanna do this in the toolbar, you can actually go over here to annotations in this drop down menu, and here is the link. If you just click on this, then you get these crosshairs and you can paste a link anywhere you want. You can do YouTube videos, any kind of URL you want. But if you actually wanna bring in data and do an upload from URL, such as this one right here, you click on this upload from URL button right here. Now, if I double click on this Google.com data layer, this is our belt line right here. I'm just gonna rename it real quick. Okay, so now I have the belt line. I'm gonna go back to this other Google My Map that I have here, which is a group of all the polygons of neighborhoods in Atlanta. I'll click on share, toggle on anyone with this link can view, and I'm gonna copy the link, I'll come back to the felt map, and this time I'll actually use the toolbar just to show you how this works. We can paste it in right here, and now I can name this before it even gets put in here. Call it Atlanta Neighborhoods, add the layer, and now you can see right here it's being added as an actual data layer and not as an element. We can add it both ways if we'd like. And there is our new Atlanta neighborhoods layer. I'm gonna switch back to the legend view. And you see how easy that was to bring those mind maps over from Google, it's just amazing. And now the real power of Felt shines through and that is the design capabilities. This is really a design tool and I wanna show you how easy it is to put something together here. I'm gonna jump over and I actually have the Atlanta Beltline logo. Can just drop that right here. And now what I wanna do is I wanna change the colors based off of some of this green here. So I can go grab the Beltline. I'm gonna drag it on top of the neighborhoods. Now I'll go grab the fill color and there's a little eyedropper tool. I'm gonna to grab that and hover over the green in the logo. Just change it there. And now I'll go down and add some casing here. We'll maybe do like a white color. And I'll come down to neighborhoods now, and we wanna change this to maybe a black, and then bring the opacity way, way down, something like 5% or 6% or something. And now I don't really like the background here, all these colors in the background, so I'm gonna go up here to my background, and if you toggle the menu here, you can switch it in between light and dark mode. So I'll just switch that to light mode. Now I wanna get rid of these labels, so I can come over here, and just go back in that same menu and deactivate show labels. So now I've got something that's a little bit cleaner, but I do however wanna see the labels on my Atlanta neighborhoods. So if I grab that, I can come back over here and just add labels. 
They're looking a little too big, so I'll take them way down. Looking pretty cool. Now I think I wanna add some parks. I wanna see some local park action. Well, this is one of my favorite aspects of Felt is the fact that you have a built-in library of data sets. If you come up here to layers, you can click on layers and then you can, I can do a keyword search for parks and there's a data set built in from OpenStreetMap for local parks. Just click on add and that will immediately add that as a layer, which is very cool. Now let's say I wanna just show the parks within the boundaries of my neighborhood. I can grab local parks and then I can come over here and click on this transform button. This is a transformation tools. We have eight different options here. I am going to grab intersect. And what I wanna do is create new features from local parks where it overlaps with Atlanta neighborhoods. And you can see we're getting a preview already with the blue here. And instead of apply to entire layer, I'm gonna switch this to features on screen, click apply, and we'll let this process. Now I can turn off the visibility of the original local parks and I'm gonna go grab the new intersected parks and just bring the opacity way, way down, something like that. All right, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you wanna see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and activate notifications, or you can go check out our playlist over on our YouTube channel. We have playlists like this, such as Friday Features. We're doing videos about QGIS, all kinds of cool stuff. So be sure to go check that out. I'll see you in the next one.